electric atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. Nikki Ocean's taking on the guy that owns this building tonight, it would seem like, with all the cheering he just got. Steve Zaff, the pride of Brick, New Jersey. He's a local boy from down the shore. Take it on Nikki Oceans one on one. Did a rocket ship just blast off from the firehouse? I think it might have. We got explosions going on here early on in this matchup as we start up the second half of Night of Champions. This is the season opener, the 2014 opener of the Too Funky To Be Frozen Tour for Functified Wrestling Federation. Nikki Oceans, of course, a former FWF World Tag Team Champion uh, with Right To Party. Mike Dennis not here tonight. Nikki Oceans going at it solo. Taking on fan favorite Steve Zaff, Colorado Nebo tie up, John Solo, I'm always calling for you. The CEO of Solo Enterprises next to me once again, John. What do you think of this match to kick off the I don't second half? David Adams right now, you know, you gotta look at the former love machine, Nikki Oceans, also a tag team specialist in his own right right now. But he's been the junior heavyweight champion of a number of different promotions. Made his return to Funkified Wrestling Entertainment and Funkified Wrestling Federation a few months ago. And so far has been very successful. You know, he's got his party tag team that's going on. Gordon here is match. And his opponent, very well known in the Jersey Shore area. Steve's out for an early cover, doesn't even get a one count from Nicky Ocean. Nicky Ocean sweeps that leg, goes for a cover, not even a one count there. These two gentlemen fast and furious to kick off the free man pin. Anderson. Has S.P. Anderson ever gotten a victory here? I don't know. Mikey Whitbreck has a referee here. You've entered Bizarro World down at the Jersey Shore. Right to Zebra. Oh, speaking of zebras. <laughs> well, Zebra Kid, victorious earlier this evening, if that's who you're referring to, Joey Janela. I don't know if we can really call that a victory. I think he just cheated. I was, Chair won that match. I was backstage checking out the bounty hunter, Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo covered in his own blood a crippler crossface with a chair. The Zebra Kid, he got his no disqualification. Anything goes back, and he won with it. Bottom line. Time, Steve Zapp and Nicky Ocean's are in the middle of a ring right now. Absolutely. Just giving a recap of the first half of the show. You brought it up. I just finalized things. Nicky Ocean's here bringing the crowd to a standing cheer right here. They're all fired up. I don't know if they're cheering for Nicky, if they're cheering for Steve. You know, it's interesting. I'm looking around the crowd, and there are a number of different scouts and different people from other federations that are checking out these two competitors. Obviously, they want to sign a blue chip talent such as a Nikki Oceans or a Steve Dapp for any of those matches, selling out any arena right now. And the crowd here at Island Heights, New Jersey, fortunate to be seeing a match of this caliber. No doubt about it. Well, it's there's, the best. there's only there's only one or two promotions running tonight in New Jersey, and I think the majority of them have come here to FWS. Well, that's why they hired you. And a big chop from Steve Zaff. And now Nikki Ocean's just pummeling away at the back with a big forearm smash. Looks like he hurt himself on Zaff's shoulder. Ah! Ooh, ranking the shoulder blades. Right There's all there. kinds of bones and awkward spots in the back there. You hit somebody in the wrong spot, it's gonna backfire on you, John. You know, Nicky Ocean's made his debut not too, too many years ago. The National Wrestling Superstars, and when he came in as a member of the Psychedelic Studs with Ace Darling, he was taught a lot of those low blows. He was taught a lot of those moves, that raking of the guys with the, the fingernails, pulling some those shortcuts that Nicky Ocean has been able to use. But he is a well-trained wrestler. He learned from the likes of Tommy Ford. He learned from learning from a number of different luchadors like Antonio Malato. He learned his way through the ring. But now he's back to taking those shortcuts. And quite honestly, I don't think he needs to be doing that. And a snapmare takeover from Nicky Oceans. Well, you know what? He's learned from these veterans how to take the, sh the shortcut and how to do it the right way. He's gotten the best of both worlds, and now he's a man. He's got to make his own choices in life. And right now, he's working on Steve Zaff, and it's working out for him here early on in this matchup. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here, David. Nicky Ocean's actually has the action. He is now that ring veteran. He has achieved that status. He no longer has to take those shortcuts. He just chooses to. Once again down, Nicky Ocean's very proud of himself. 
Well, as you said, he's a, he's a well-known tag team specialist. Tonight, he's running solo. He's obviously trying to make a name for himself once again in the solo d division. Solo I division. Noticed, I, I see what you're doing. John there. Solo. Very good. There. Yeah. Oh, name right name the division after yourself. Figures. Uh -huh. And a big uppercut smasher. He might have hurt his hand on that one, John. Well, he hurt his elbow on his shoulder. He hurt his arm on there. He hurt his head. You know, Nicky Ocean seems to be uh, having a little difficulty with self-preservation tonight. Some might think that Steve Zav is a $6 million man by all this pain that his opponent's taking trying to punch him. Now look at this move here, right here. All right, make a wish foundation. This little piggy went to, this little piggy went home. This little piggy said, hey, that hurts. Steve Zav right now literally being taken apart limb by limb, ligature by ligature, pinky by pinky. Speaking of pinky, Nikki Oceans, the psychedelic studs. Ooh, you know, Oceans right now, first he sees him out, he takes apart those fingers, now he's turning him, then he steps on the hand. Steve Zav, I don't know if he's gonna sign any checks later, but he's gonna have a real rough time if he's left-handed. Now, wrestling fans, uh, I, I promised Steve Zav I wouldn't say it on the microphone in the ring when I introduced him, but I was talking to him backstage. He's- oh, no, 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 no. I'll tell you in just a moment, as we see if we can get him. Steve Zav's got a lot of friends and family supporting him here tonight. For the cover, here does Nicky Ocean get the win by no. Steve Zaff would love nothing more than to pick up a victory, because it's a little known fact that he gave me permission to say on commentary. Here he's, we been, go. he's been in the business about 10 years, and tonight, win, lose, or draw, it's his last match in professional wrestling. I'm saying that softly because want the crowd to be influenced. Exactly. But I did, but for the people watching this on social media, I do want them to know this, and Mr. Zaf did give me permission to say that. He's been wrestling since he's 21, he's 31 now, and he probably said 10 years, he's lived the dream, and he's ready to move on with the next chapter of his yeah, life. his tattoos weren't quite as faded when he made his debut. Right now, once again, Nicky Ocean's taking apart that arm. He's got that arm bar, he's pulling apart the fingers. Nicky Ocean's is showing a little bit more of that sadistic side of himself tonight. You know, normally you can tag that now as part of go through, get his damage done, and get out, and his partner do the rest of the work. So now he's got to do it all by himself. And he's actually showing that he's pretty good at it. Steve Zab trying to mount a comeback after having that arm torqued in an awkward predicament. I don't know about twerking. Oh, man. Double swing. Not twerking, it was torque. I don't want to. Miley Cyrus. John Solo and twerking. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Ah! But here we go. S. Peterson is up to a three count. Four. Well, S. P. Anderson apparently not a product of the Tom's River High School system because he can count higher than eight. Both men to their feet on nine. Seth ducks the clothesline, hits one of his own to Oceans. And another one, Oceans is down. Zaf building momentum, ducks the clothesline from Oceans. And a big forearm. From Steve Zaff. Actually, think that's. Mope, nobody was talking to you. Go do security. Where'd the mope come from? <laughs> isn't there some isn't there some karaoke at an Applebee's you need to be doing? I don't know. I wish there'd be some like purple tied referee here to keep him in check. And a big boot, but no, Nikki Ocean blocks it. And he hits him with an instant curry kick in the corner. Yes. Very good. Now that's showing some of the different maneuvers that Nikki Ocean is well known for. Understand that he has been trained in catching scratch cans. He has been trained in pure use. He has been trained in a number of different Greco-Roman styles. And putting them all together, I just don't have a... Oh! And what a belly to belly throw! Unbelievable, John! Nikki Ocean's head just hit that turnbuckle so hard, he might just be knocked out cold. Zaf sees it, pulls him away from the ropes, he covers him, is he gonna get the victory right here? You see Down and Out in Beverly Hills, I think that was Down and Out in Island Heights. Nikki Ocean's right now, I'm not sure whether or not that was pure reflex on his part. How did he kick out of that maneuver? Steve Zaf right now laying the boots to Nikki Ocean in the midsection, one in the buttock region, over the center, oh, in reverse, Nikki Ocean's, slam down. What a move! 
He calls that the slam down. Is that what he just said? He just made up. You know, I liked it. I liked it, John, on the fly. My mentor right here always, always gets it right the first time. Here we go. Nikki Oceans, is he going to ruin Steve Zaff's night right here? But no, Zaff still alive in this match. You know, regardless of Nikki Oceans and Steve Zaff, this night is still alive and well. We still have the tag team tournament. We still have that heavyweight championship. We still have the night of champions here for Funkified Wrestling Federation. That's right. This is the Too Funky to be Frozen tour, even though it's like 10 degrees outside. I did notice that. I opened the door earlier. Right there, and I'm uh, I'll never get used to these Jersey winners. To climb up the Steve Zap. Oh yeah, like it's warmer in Long Island. Anyway, Steve Zap, nice up and over. Looked like he was going for a run. Oh, oh Nicky oh, Osis, is he gonna get him right here? Oh no! Well, Steve Zap could not be victorious in his retirement match this evening. But you know what? He came into this ring saying, win, lose, or draw, this is going to be his last match. And I'll tell you right now, he did himself proud. Thank you. Steve Zapp, you know what? You can say whatever you want about me. I'm a good guy, I'm a bad guy. I'm funny, I'm fat. There's not one bad thing you can say about this guy right here. He's not fat, he's big bone. Well, that's right, Steve Zaff, the man. He's had a very, very impressive 10 year career in this business. When I got called by our promoter to say I was going to be in Steve Zaff's retirement match. No offense, I didn't come for you guys. I didn't come for the ref, I didn't come for the money. I came for this guy. Absolutely. Some of you know me, some of you don't. I started wrestling when I was 14 years old. Not many people in that locker room except people that are 14 years old. But the first person that came up to me, stuck his hand in my face, said, hi, I'm Steve. We're here over 12 years later, and this is the biggest thing I could have done for this man because of what he's done for me. So I thank you, FWF thanks you, everybody here says thank you for everything you've done for wrestling. Absolutely, thank you Steve Zaff. We wish you all the best. Give it up to Steve Zaff. Give it up to yes, we wish you the best with the next chapter of your life, whatever that may be. And thank you for your contributions to independent wrestling over these past 10 years. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? gets for trying to insult this man during his moment in his final match of his illustrious independent wrestling career. the end of the match for the one, two, three. Steve Zaff, we'll miss you, and we'll see you real, real soon at another show as a guest anytime, brother.